assalamu alaikum students in previous lecture we saw about our power brain now we are going to talk about our next uh, parts of the brain which is the hind brain so let's talk you can see here this whole green portion is our hind brain from this in these three parts our hind brain it consists of three parts the cerebellum which is this portion this is cerebellum and medulla oblongata which is uh, this portion and the pons which is this like o like structure so let's come about firstly about the uh, cerebellum in cerebellum the out part of the cerebellum is consist of white matter the cortex part is the white matter you can uh, you uh, you know I already know about the white matter it consists of the axons of the neurons and like this is these are the neurons so the cell bodies are present in medulla while the axons are present in cortex part of the cerebellum okay so let's talk about its function cerebellum control posture balance and locomotion of our body second coordinate voluntary movement of our body like we are going on our path so we don't fall on each other lie uh, left side or right side we go straight so it is the control of cerebellum on our body so it maintain a balance it is involved in learning and memory st storage like the uh, cerebrum it order mostly to smooth muscles to produce a correct movement like uh, in our body the smooth muscles like our hands limbs uh, and our legs uh, these are the smooth muscles so it help it uh, order it to, to move so it is well developed in birds due to their higher flight so so in the birds the cerebellum is well developed because they uh, fly higher in air so it is well developed in the in them okay our next uh, parts of the hind brain is the medulla oblongata so let's this is the medulla oblongata it is on the border of the brain and the spinal cord okay so it controls some uh, involuntary actions like uh, it works as a highway between brain and body work as a highway the impulse is coming from lower body uh, from the spinal cord side to the brain and then the uh, impulse coming from the brain toward the spinal cord so it work is a highway okay next is the control many reflex actions like heartbeat blood pressure respiration okay these are the reflex actions which are not in our own order it is the uh, in the order of our medulla oblongata which it occur very suddenly control coughing our coughing our sneezing our swallowing of a bolus okay vomiting digestion it also control movement of elementary canal what is elementary canal over the movement of our food and our esophagus and the stomach and the uh, intestines this is the uh, elementary canal so it is not in our own control it is these are the reflex section which are controlled by our medulla oblongata so if we uh, if we try to control them so we cannot uh, control these these are the treasures of the nature which we cannot control this okay third is the pons pons this all like structure you can here see here focus here this portion okay this is our pons which is present in our hind brain it also work as an important worker in our brain okay mostly made of white matter so this is the pons so it is mostly made of white matter because the neuron are present like this so it is made of white matter okay also in present transition between sleep and awakeness so if we are um, if, we're, if we are speak, sleeping if we are uh, awake so our phones is uh, working okay it regulate rate of breathing so like uh, 
this is my pawns okay my pawns and these are my lungs okay this is the cage rib cage okay so these these are the neurons which touch the pons with the rib cage so these neurons touch the pons with the rib cage which help the rib cage to move up and down in order to help in breathing okay so the pons working in our sleeping time also because we are able to breathe during sleeping because due to our healthy pons okay regulate eye movement so our eye movement is due to the pons it is also a reflex section so you can see you can also say that uh, pons is a also a controller of our reflex actions now let's talk about the last part of the brain the middle brain it is consist of some nucleic cells so let's talk about its structure firstly structure out part is made of gray matter so i draw a structure there is yes, the mid one is like this so i will draw this like okay so the outer part is made of gray matter so this is gray matter because it consists the axons of neurons okay like this and the it consists the bodies cell bodies of the neuron and the inner part is the white matter okay because it consists the the axons of the neuron okay function it consists of nerve fibers which pass stimuli from hind to forebrain it also work as a uh, is a passer which uh, pass the stimuli from the hind brain to the uh, forebrain and from the forebrain to the hind brain okay it also control auditory relation to so firstly i will take this diagram as like this box here it consists of four types of cells the oh, the superior two are called superior colliculi these two are called the superior colliculi i have drawn it from this okay superior colliculi and the inferior are called the inferior colliculi okay these two so these two control our visual behavior okay our eye picture our eye movement okay it involve in picturing Uh, through eye okay it control our auditory behavior okay it is involved in uh, in uh, seeing and it is involved in uh, listening okay so it is also control auditory relay center so the inferior uh, colliculi uh, control the auditory relay center okay it has to control reflex movement of eye so the superior colliculi control the movement reflex movement of eye the fourth its gray matter helps cerebellum for control muscular activities so its gray matter the out part helps the cerebellum so this is its out part okay this out part it helps the cerebellum the cerebellum to control the muscular activities okay so this was the brain so we talk about its three parts the mid brain fore brain and hind brain so uh, this is the large portion is the uh porbin so i mentioned before and this is the uh, yeah, green is the uh, uh, hand brain and this alert portion is the mid brain and these are the carl meningitis okay meningitis okay meningitis so we will talk about the meningitis uh, in later lectures uh, and it's a little function about it so uh, see you next time please subscribe to our channel that you uh, receive more of my videos